Hey everyone, so no, it is not a throwback to the 2000s, or eh, I guess it kind of is in a way. This is the Maui Gym Ho'okipa. This is a nice little value proposition in the collection, at least as much as a $200 pair of sunglasses can be. And I think a lot of people have had this as their first pair of Maui Gym sunglasses. But let's dive in, have a review of it. I've got a couple different colorways here, so we'll try to have some fun with this. Uh, yeah, it's a pair of sunglasses. It's going to be fun. Now, that's 30 seconds of wearing a Maui Gym on my face. That's enough for one day. <laughs> and that's what you're in for in this video today. So there you go. Oh boy. All right, so I said we were gonna dive into the Ho'okipa or however you say that because these Hawaiian names always send me into a frizzy because I don't even know where to begin at. We have this guy, which is the one I was wearing at the beginning of the video. This is the crystal gray colorway with the blue Hawaii lens, which, you know, doesn't show up super great on camera here because we don't have quite enough light coming at it, which is really hard to believe, but that's what you get. This guy, the crystal gray with the HCL. So the HCL bronze lens, of course, is gonna be their little bit warmer, more contrast enhancing lens. And the Blue Hawaii is more of a neutral gray, but it does have a little bit more of a contrast pop to it because of that blue. At least I think it does. I think it works really nicely. Both these colorways make a really nice cool look. It's just whether you like the little bit more golden lens or the much more, yes, edgy pop. I don't know. People around here, they don't love the mirrors as much. I love the mirrors, so whatever. Which I think is funny because technically, Every Maui Gem lens is mirrored, except for the few single gradients. <sighs> Whatever. It's, it's hilarious to me to hear somebody say, I love Maui Gem, but then I hate mirrored lenses. No, what? Did, anyway, this guy is probably my favorite in the collection, not because of how it looks, but because of how it wears and feels. This is still the Ho'okipa, by the way, but this is the tortoise brown, crystal brown, I don't even know. Where are we at here? Uh, da, 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 da. Beige. Okay. With the rose lens in it, which if you've been around any amount of time, you know that is one of my favorite of the Maui lenses because it is warm, it's inviting, it adds a little bit of contrast and pop, nothing too crazy. And of course, come on, we're talking about the Ho'okipa. Of course the lenses are gonna be the center of the show, both cosmetically and how you actually see. Being Maui Gem lenses, they are all the polarized plus two technology that, that are all polarized <laughs> at the end of the day. They are all polarized lenses, which is a polarizing topic all its own around here. And I'll get into that another time. I have been asked to actually specifically address that recently. We'll get there. The Hoko Kipa, we are two minutes in and I have not said anything about the frame itself, so I feel like we should get there. Very lightweight frame and then a really nice feel on the face. What's good with this one, you still have that very steep nine base wrap, which means on the face, it gives you a lot of coverage. In my case, it's actually hitting right across through here really nicely. Generally, you would think of that as a bad thing, but when you're talking sunglasses, you want that full coverage. You want all of the light being either filtered or blocked out. Now, I will say on this one, it's cut a little bit short for me, but I mean, it's just kind of a universal thing you're gonna have a hard time finding that. And generally, if I wanted it to be a little bit lower, I could adjust these nose pads and get it a little bit lower to make up for that. These aren't really adjustable, but they are really good for their intent. And that is a pair of sunglasses that are just meant to be worn, give you some function, have a ton of grip. I mean, these, unadjusted, just the way they come out of the factory because of the way they're designed. These guys here, I don't know if it's a proprietary material to Maui Gym, but what I can tell you is it is a really good material that only seems to stick more as you sweat more. And I know there's a company that makes that specifically. I don't know if they work with that company or have their own proprietary blend is what I'm getting at. But they also use that same compound here at the back for a little bit more grip behind the ear even though it is that straight back temple without any curvature down to it. You don't always need that 
if you follow the curvature of the skull back here really well. But in the case of these, they're leaning really heavy on that grip back there. And you can see that because these are all very steeply wrapped. And by this being a bump, it's gonna make contact somewhere through here and rely on that grip from that. I will say for me, I don't particularly like that because I'm not doing a lot of uh, high intensity or high speed activities wearing sunglasses where I need that because it's really just amounts to a lot more pressure at the back of the head. If you need that kind of grip from the sunglasses and don't wanna have the strap cable behind your head, cool, this is a great way to get there, but you are gonna have some pressure back here. I can tell it even in the few minutes of this video that we've been playing with so far. So it's just something to keep in mind. I think overall it's a really well constructed rimless sunglass or partial rimmed sunglass if you wanna go there because we do have the supporting bar across the top. I uh, personally am not particularly fond of this kind because you get a really cheap feel to it. And I mean that, and it's, to me, this is an inexpensive pair of sunglasses at $200, again, because of what I'm used to working with being three, four or more times that. But you've gotta have that pair for everything else. These guys do that really well. But what I mean is the overall material feel is cheap in comparison. And that's sort of the nature of the rimless sunglasses until you know the titanium stuff, but it does have a nice support and feel and grip. The hinges, eh, they get the job done. It's a hole and a screw and a notch. And that's really all there is to say about the hinges on these. Uh, I will say in my time working with them, I have seen more, I've seen more be lost than broken. So I, I guess it gets the job done. Again, this material has got quite a bit of give to it. You don't want to sit here and twist and throw them across the room and all that bad stuff, but they do get the job done. There's some nice grip there. And again, overall look, very classic. The shape's a little bit softer and ovalized because you don't want any sharp edges in the design where it's gonna poke you or sharp edges just in general on something that's meant to be worn for sport activities. I don't know, which color do you guys think? What are, what are we doing here? So we've got back to the beige with the rose lens. And again, this guy, which I keep grabbing nonstop, even though I said I like the HCL bronze lens better, there's something about those blue tones. Mm. Oh, right, I just love blue. Ah, and then the HDL bronze. It's clean, classy. Yeah, there you go. So, what do I think of Maui Jim's sport rimless sunglasses? I think this bar up here is a nice addition to everyone else's rimless that really usually doesn't have any extra support and puts all the tension on the mounting points of the frame, which are here and here. It's the far edges where a lot of extra stress goes on the frame. It is nice to see that go throughout the chassis instead of throughout the lens. We are having some fun technical difficulties today. I don't know what is causing it, but it's frustrating anyways. On that frustrating note, if you're new here, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. If you've made it this far, you're gonna love everything else we've got going on because this is uh, to me the more boring stuff. I'm sorry, it just is. <sighs> That's all I've got on the whole keep it a day. Let me know your thoughts, which colorway that we've got here you liked best, or if there's a combination you've worn that you really loved, let me know about that one down below, because obviously I keep these things in the store. I need some cool creations too, and sometimes my creative is not creative. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time.